cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. We are here at Creative Kitchen and Bath, and we are in the kitchen with Miss Allison Davis for the holidays. I'm yeah. loving this. This has been fantastic. It's a good season for food. I know. <laughs> Seriously. Um, so what do you have for us today? All right. So this is one of my favorite proteins. Um, and I do feel like it's more for a special occasion, uh, but we have some duck breast. Mm -hmm. um, one of my husband's favorites. Um, and not something that you can just find anywhere. Um, these I pick up at Critchfield Meats. Um, they always have these. They're wonderful uh, quality. Um, duck breast is just a gamey, delicious mm -hmm. dish. Mm. And and people think of it like poultry, but it's different. It's a gamey. So you actually serve this at a medium rare mm -hmm. um, to medium uh, because otherwise it gets really tough. Um, it has a nice uh, bit of fat, as you can tell, uh -huh. on it. So that really gives us this crisp sear that we're looking for. Yeah. So really, we're just going to focus in on sauteing and searing off a duck breast. One of my favorite flavor pairings is cherries. Mm -hmm. um, so I picked up some cherry preserves just to go over the top. I mean, that's about as simple as you can get, um, yeah. but we can definitely, you know, later on throughout the year talk about some different sauces and things that can go with duck breast. Okay, gotcha. Um, so the first things first, I've got a hot pan uh, getting to a very high heat. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I like to score the fat cap that's on the duck breast, meaning I just cut in not really into the meat, uh -huh. but into the just the fat layer fat. that's on mm -hmm. top so that way it doesn't curl up on us gotcha and yeah so you oh, just kind of score why. it a bit yeah because once that heats up then it just starts to roll up doesn't mm -hmm. it you got it ah. all right so we've got that kind of scored nicely next thing that's super important you're going to season it generously with salt and pepper on both sides okay i can smell my oil over here heating up so it may yep. pop just a little bit but um, salt and pepper on both sides mm -hmm. and then I typically will start with the fat side down. I barely have any oil in here at all. But we're going to let that sit and I would encourage you to maybe step back just a little bit because there is quite a bit of fat, <laughs> quite a bit of fat that is rendered from your duck breast yeah. because you saw how thick that was. I did, yeah. Um, and so that's going to sit and brown nicely over top of, of the high heat. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to flip it until you start to see a nice uh, brown kind of edging. And you um, don't want us touching it at all, right? You no, just want it no. to literally just sit there. Just literally sit there and sear. And what happens is um, you get this nice crisp crust. And that's uh -huh. what really makes a great duck breast mm -hmm. um, is that crisp skin. Mm -hmm. um, so as it sits there, um, when you're searing and when you're browning, you will uh, see the sear likes to climb the fat. And what I mean by that is you've got a little bit of fat on the sides here. Yes. Uh -huh. So you will see where it browns around the edges and it will continue to brown and the sear will kind of climb that fat. Uh, yeah. So as you see that brown edging, that is an indication that you have a nice crisp crust um, on your duck breast and then that at that point that's when you would flip it over. Gotcha. Um, if it, it's still going to probably be a nice medium rare because they're nice and thick. Mm -hmm. So I typically will just pop it in the oven for another, say, five minutes or so mm -hmm. um, just to finish cooking it to where it's nice and, and medium rare all the way through. Okay. But this part is really the presentation side. Uh -huh. um, and I typically serve my duck breast uh, sliced. Uh -huh. And I think most restaurants do where you already have it sliced and kind of fanned out. Mm -hmm. and and then again, my favorite pairing, especially with the holidays, is cherries. You can make your own cherry sauce, but this is a very easy one to pick up. But this was just a tart uh, cherry preserves, mm -hmm. Michigan cherry preserves that I just thought just looked sensational. Mm. <laughs> so once this comes out, we can put those cherry preserves over. I might do a little pinch of uh, thyme sprigs or yeah. parsley or rosemary or something. But I mean, duck is so flavorful on its own. You don't really have to do much else to it. And yeah. I think people are intimidated when they see duck, like mm -hmm. that's only served in the restaurants. Right. But that's not the case. <laughs> um, so, you kind of see how we have that I nice I can kind see of that. brown. Yep. So, I'm going to just go ahead and just show you this one where we're at. See how that's yes. crisped up? I mean, I would even go just a tad longer personally, yeah. but I wanted just to be able to show that to the audience um, as far as how crisp that gets. No flour added, 
nothing but just salt and pepper. Yeah, so. awesome. Well, for this recipe and many other recipes, head over to our website at wtdq.com forward slash Midday Kentucky, or you can head over to Miss Allison's website at wildtimecooking.com. Um, she's also on Instagram at Chef Allison Davis. Uh, you have Instagram with the Wild Time as well. What's the one for that one? Wild Time Cooking. Okay, Wild Time Cooking. So there we have it. We will be right back right after this short break. Keep it right here, everyone.